All right, guys. Old Clutch Gamer here. Here I am showing you the second part of my little series right here on my pistol ace scheme and what I do in order to um, be elite out here in Madden Ultimate Team and on online ranked. So, Old Clutch Gamer, as I said, I only show you the good stuff, former elite tournament player. So let's hop into it. Woo! -hoo. Pistol ace. The three players I want to show you is wide receiver screen. Inside cross and PA deep in. Now, one of the best things about Pistol Ace, which I love, is that you can flip the play. And look, the play is flipped and nothing happened because this is a symmetrical formation. So you can call any play you want and flip it, and a defense doesn't know. So screens are great because you can run it either to the right side or to the left side, and they have no idea what's going to happen. So here we do. Halfback screen, run it to LaFell, boom, off to the races, the tackle happened there. You'll notice the wide receiver screen, sometimes the tackle comes in, sometimes it doesn't. So, oh, wow, that wasn't good. The computer was all over that one. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, sometimes with wide receiver screen, you notice that sometimes the guy, dang, I'm going to hit again. The guy gets tackled immediately, but here we're off to the races. Boom, just like that. That was against goal line. You won't see goal line too many times against somebody. So let's try against here. It's like a 4-6 defense. Throw it to the left side. Element, element. Oh, brought down. Anyway, you guys realize what I'm talking about. You run wide receiver screen so you know how to do it. Next play I'm going to show you is inside cross. Inside cross is my favorite play in this game. Now, it's best if you run it. Well, it matters which hash mark you run it on. So the first route I'm going to show you is... Um, is this post rock right here to Edelman. If you're throwing the post rock to Edelman right here, you have to be on the left hash. If you're going to throw it to LaFell, you have to be on the right hash. So right now we're on the left hash, so we're going to throw it to Julian Edelman. Now this play requires a lot of hot routes, that's the only thing. You put your two tight ends on slants, crisscrossing one another. If they play man, hit whoever comes open. There you go. Then you put B receiver on the drag route. This is your hot route. You just drop it down if you're in trouble. Pass it to him. He's opening as a man and zone. And then you have the halfback do whatever you want. I like to have the halfback block just to give myself extra time. So basically, if they play man to man, look for the tight end. Either one of these guys on slant routes. If they're playing zone, try and feed it to Edelman. It's going to be a tight window, but you can fit the ball in there if you have a great quarterback. That's the pass I always make in these films I've been showing you. All right, let's see what happens. They're playing zone. Edelman's right there. Boom, look at that dot. He dropped the ball, but he was right there. Now you'll see what's essential for this is the slant right. Is a slant route that Tim Wright's running, my wide tight end. He eats up that zone, and then Gronk eats up the other zone. Usually this guy drops back the hit where my receiver is, but he doesn't. He sits tight on Gronk, giving my wide receiver room to create space. Boom, just like that. Only thing here is he dropped the ball, which is why in Madden Ultimate Team, I have guys of great hands and great catch in traffic, because as soon as he catches his route, he's getting hit. But this is easily, what? This is like an 18-yard play, just like that. And it only took two seconds. Let's run it again. Inside cross. Tight ends on slant rights crisscrossing each other. LaFell on the drag route, pull out the block. Boom, there it is. Again, there it is. 15 yards every time. Also, they're in zone. Oh, I don't know why you're having it here in goal line. Let's get them out of the goal line. They have a better defense. Also, if they're in zone. Oh, call the wrong play. Inside cross. Also, if they're in zone, I've said that three times, you can try and hit the tight ends right here, whoever is open quick. So Gronk's open, boom, hit Gronk, even though that was a risky pass. I did not see that linebacker coming. That was almost picked off. But usually you don't have linebackers coming out of nowhere like that. So you can hit the tight ends in zone, either A or Y, who's ever open first. This is engage eight. Hit that, boom, right there. And we all know about drag routes. Drag routes are always a safety valve. Let me hit LaFell right here on this drag route, and we got it. Boom, LaFell. Gronk missed that block for some reason, but it's still a five-yard gain. Alright guys, let's show you how inside cross works against a man-to-man -man defense where I hit the tight ends 
for a big game. We pick inside cross right here and pistol ace, Bronco's playbook. And here we go, cover two, man. A lot of people play 4-3 on that alternate team. Put these two guys on crossing routes. Put the guy on drag, B receiver. Put the running back on the halfback block. And either wire A is going to be open. Bronx open, boom. Just like that, 10 yards. That's all you have to do. I bet Y was also open. Let's run it one more time. Crossing routes are under pressure. Y is open. Woo! Woo, Y wasn't open. He didn't get separation, which is why in Madden Ultimate Team, my Y right there is Jared Cook, who's 91 speed. I guarantee you, Jared Cook would have beaten that linebacker. So it works great in Madden Ultimate Team. It seems also on this that A gets more wide open than Y does. Sometimes Y doesn't get good separation on this play. Let me see if Y is open again on this. Y, not good separation. But he still got it. So, you know, you never know. Sometimes he's open, sometimes he's not. Most of the time he is open. You have to trust your quarterback and trust your tight end. Lab it out with your team to figure out how fast your tight end needs to be in order to make sure he hits this route on man to man. All right, and the next play I'm going to show you is play action. All right, the next play I'm going to show you guys right here, one of my favorite plays, play action FLN. Now, this play is something you only do, where is it? Let me try and find it in here. It's something you only do when you need a big play and you know your opponent is biting against the run. It works best against the cover two defense, but also against a cover three. Right here, play action to your halfback, then you throw it to A on that seam route right up in there. You gotta just fit that ball. It's hard to describe. Go on practice mode and feel it out, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's give this a run. So let's try this play. Play action to Blanc, looking for Gronk, looking for Gronk, still looking. Whoa, dot! Right there, right there. Now usually it's not going to take as long against, um, you know, against a like real person because usually they're not as far back as the safeties. You're using the linebacker. They make mistakes, but the computer always plays things perfectly. But if you can do it against the computer when the computer runs a cover two defense, I guarantee you, you can do it against a real person. Here it is, play action, Blount, looking for Gronk. There it is, boy. Play action, Blount, looking for Gronk, looking, looking, there it is, boy, ooh, just like that, oh, Gronk getting mad yards. Anyway, guys, that sums up my video, I hope you enjoyed this, this is my pistol A scheme, and these are the main three passing plays I've run in this game for Madden 15, and how I dominate in Madden Ultimate Team. Check out my other videos, this is Old Clutch Gamer, signing out, y'all, y'all know the drill, comment, subscribe, friend me, tweet me, we out, let's go, peace.